leprechauns are very interesting characters. Um, I did quite a bit of research into the real history of leprechauns. And you see, uh, the stories of leprechauns changed after uh, Catholicism came to Ireland. Uh, the Romans never actually invaded Ireland except that the, re the religion that they were pushing did invade Ireland. And religion is fine. I'm not saying one way or the other. But the thing is the stories about the leprechauns, because they conflicted with the, the religion, were altered. They were made smaller. They were made sillier. Originally, the leprechauns were wise men. And the pot of gold was not gold, but it was knowledge. And it was an enlightenment that would allow you to go to what's called the other world. Uh, now, the other world, in, in the book, I use magicdom to represent this other world. But there, there again, the Celtic beliefs, uh, which were handed down orally and very greatly suppressed, if you actually compare them, what the, the stories that got handed down, say, in parts of France and England and Wales and Ireland, you and then you find where they are similar, you realize that this is the same religious concept, that there was an other world that exists and you could go there, you could experience it. So the leprechauns were the actual keepers of the knowledge of accessing the other world. Um, yeah, and, and, and that's what I have them do. They actually are the keepers of the knowledge, the chronicles of magic and the flame of magic, and they have the knowledge of how you could access the other world. Now, we don't bring that to fore until much later in the series, but you get a good bit of that in the, in the beginning. Um, they're a bit silly, they're small, but they're wise at the same time.